Hello, fat fans. Welcome to BBC World. Please, if you're new to the channel, please click that like and subscribe button right now, okay? Don't forget that. So, I just received a message from someone very influential um, that Louis King Kong Otis actually wanted a fight, but the big boss, who I don't want to actually mention his name, did not want it. Um, <clears throat> my reaction to this is that Louis Ortiz is his own man. He's like 59 years old now. I know on paper he's way much younger than his real age. We know that on paper he's like 38 or 39, something like that. <laughs> Even 40. Good, no problem. But Louis Ortiz is no longer young. I mean, he's not getting younger. 59, soon to be 60, and given a golden chance to fight Joshua should be a dream to him. But instead, all those guys don't want smoke with the unified and king of the world. And to the Joshua, and it's just kind of crazy because I feel pity for you know for Joshua. Who will he fight next? Now we all know we've heard names: Michael Hunter, these that, Anderson Jr. We've heard names, but we don't know who is gonna fight. You know, the win is crazy today. We don't know. So it's just crazy. Like, do so. This is my opinion. Even if. You say he wanted a fight, but him not taking it is a problem because it sends a very bad signal to Louis Otis camp. You know, they've been talking shit since that Joshua is a talker and all this stuff, and later they fucked up like this. Like, it's just kind of crazy, guys. I don't know what to say. And in my opinion, Louis, Louis Otis knew he was going to get a ass whooping. You know what I mean? He don't want to step in with Nigerian Nightmare. He don't want to step in with uh, Tyson Fury. He don't want to step in with Joshua. I mean, and let me just say the name. Ah, uh, Heyman uh, might be the reason behind this. And this is the reason why Boston politics is bad. Ah, uh, Heyman is a man that I respect. Haven't actually met him yet. But I know people who have and who works with him. And they've told me that guy is a, is a great guy. He does all for his fathers. But when you don't want to give your fathers, you know, or allow your fathers to go fight on other networks, it becomes a problem. It becomes bad for boxing. Just looking at the Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence potential bout, which could be a very good bout in my opinion, but because Terrence Crawford, you know, is with Bob Harum and Bob Harum and um, Ahim. I mean, they get along. They've made huge fight happen in the past, but there is some some beef right here. You know, some beef here now, and it's just kind of crazy. I mean, I mean, Ahim should do better, man. Should do better um, because we don't want to actually see this stuff. We want to see reboxing. And we want to see the best fight the best because these people always talk about the best fight the best. But when it's time to actually get it done, they don't want to do it. <sighs> anyway, guys, give your thoughts below. Is our uh, Amon the reason why uh, this fight did not happen? Do give your thoughts below. I know a lot of you guys have a lot to say, you know. It's just strange, guys, and it's just fucked up for us, the boxing fans who really care about the spot. Like the video, guys, share, comment below, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Go follow me on Instagram at Boxing Block Center, and as well on Twitter at Boxing Block. Cheers, everyone.